Hello and welcome to the present station. How would you like to proceed? Uh, Mama and Alan. Thanks, Mama and Alan. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thanks, Mom. And Dad. <laughs> Mom's put a little Gigi in the cold. <laughs> Happy birthday, Johnny and Freddie. To Jean and Wayne. I got loads of cards. Yes. Okay, this one, there's a little something that goes with it first. It's a little message from someone. Okay. I'm gonna sign Mummy's card. before he died and he's got this little teeth marks in it and I tried to draw around his paw but he really wasn't having any of it oh poops hey mate hey mate paw's your birthday paw's your birthday one of the spots behind us has got much better internet and solar so we've been waiting for a boat to pull out Literally, Wes woke me up at 7 a.m. saying, Is that them? And there's a boat pulling out, so Maybe. I think we're gonna have to go in reverse. Maybe I think it's action station. I we don't have to. I haven't even opened my present. We don't have to, it's your birthday. No, we're birthday. here for a week, so having the better solo is worth it. Birthday, pause. Enjoy your first birthday activity. <laughs> I didn't touch the sides. Much more so than a really nice view over here. Hopefully, a bit more internet as well. The birthday heist. <laughs> it's so much better. Yeah, we were getting about four down over there. Literally like, what, three boats back? 36 down. Yes. <laughs> and there's some six slash poo. So we know it's a good spot. Good view, isn't it? Pretty chuffed with that for a birthday spot. Back to the present. That is my main birthday present to you, is the gift of this perfect spot. Thanks. <laughs> In. Okay, resume birthday. We've already had some presents for my mum and Jess because I use them to go on holiday with. But I got some more. Oh, it's poopy. No way, isn't that? Yeah, that's so lovely. Whoa, that's cool. What's this? Oh, big jump. Oh. What is it? Oh. A big shred, there we go. Oh, good boy. Is it shoes without yeah. holes? Oh. oh! They're nice. They're so pretty. They are very you. Finally! <laughs> They're so nice! Thank you everyone for my cards and presents.
First thing up, please make your way to the pancakes station. Oh my god, they're like crepes as well. <coughs> you know, because it's my birthday, I get to pick the music. Not me, Ka. Wes hates me, Ka. tolerating hate. it because it's my birthday. I don't hate me, you just play it too much. Jack and Gabby. I want to throw some spring onions on, are we? Oh, Look no. at the peas, that's what I need to do with ours. Look how they like wind up. Mine's oh, got no. nowhere to go, that's why. Well, why are they in jail? <laughs> the bees are really enjoying this one. That's your favourite kind of flower. Mm. He's got big legs. That means he's been collecting all the pollen on his legs lot, can you see? You could say he's been a busy bee. <laughs> for a boater's birthday than to come to a lock. <laughs> Thanks. 
This guy is overseeing the operation. Everything in order, sir? Oh. oh. <laughs> they put one in. Maybe they put one in. All loads to make up for it. Had a lovely chat with Sylvia, who's uh, an artist on an narrowboat, painting with oil and acrylic, and she's been doing it since she was 11. Really cool. And she can paint anything, which is a serious flex, but yeah, painting's absolutely beautiful. She was telling us a little bit about the canal history as well, and how a lot of the colours were picked because a lot of the people who worked on the boats back in the day were illiterate and they couldn't read. So it's just another way of making things recognisable without having to read all the text on the side. And that's why sometimes you'll see on the bows like the triangle shape or the circle shape because that was another way of just identifying the boat. You'll know that if it's if it's a triangle then it's one company, circle is another. Very clever. So the church is there, we're more of the opposite side but we're just going to have a walk all the way around on the canal and have a look. Good thing that two years ago we went down there all the way to Oxford and that was the first time we went on the Thames that summer. And then we're going to go be back that way because we're heading towards Birmingham. And then at some point we're going to finish that bit. Don't know when. <laughs> you go steady now. Absolutely outrageous. Look how small. Look at the legs. Those are the bravest little swimmers. Imagine how big the world is for them.
so on the ground floor we've got mini pan au chocolat and homemade scones yeah which hopefully are edible on the first floor we've got a, a trio of <laughs> finger sandwiches we've got uh cheese and salad cream oh we've got um hummus and carrot Ooh. and then we've got cucumber and garlic and chive cream cheese Mm. And then some cucumber and hummus. And then on the top shelf, we've got uh, vanilla and caramel Oreos, party rings, banana chips, apple, and chocolate spread. Amy's basically been pestering me to watch Bridgerton and Queen Charlotte for quite some time now. And there was a trend going around for launch of season three where everyone was having afternoon tea. <laughs> and I kept being like, oh, come we, come we. <laughs> So we're going to watch Queen Charlotte and eat our little afternoon tea. Yay! I hope you like it. For the record, I've watched Queen Charlotte three times. This is my third. It's my favourite ever thing. And I love Bridgerton too, so I've wanted to get Wes on the hype. <laughs> They are strangers to us. You cannot think me the signal. <laughs> <laughs> I signed the betrothal contract. You are doing this. No. Yes. Brother, take mm. carriage around the white Yeah? Mm. Oh, nice. Part six. <laughs> We're heading back to the boathouse pub. There's not actually that many options around here for vegan food, but the menu here seems pretty good and it smelled really good the other day. So we're going there, but we're not that hungry. <laughs> that was a big lunch. We booked a table thinking that we'd be really hungry. Cause like an afternoon tea thing just seems really small. You don't think it would fill you that much, but it really. It adds up. Yeah, and you did do a lot of little sandwiches. Yeah, that's true. Oh well, you've got to have a birthday meal. <laughs> Them both. This one's a passion fruit martini. Passion fruit, passion fruit no teeny. And it did come with an elderflower shot, but Amy's already neck that. And a no heater. Barbecue cauliflower wings. Like a sour chive sauce thing. Holly mm. wings are demolished. They were genuinely really good. Very Waiting 40 minutes, here we go, for the mains. Worth the wait. <laughs> the burger looks really sad. It looks so sorry for itself. What the hell is this spot? <laughs> I feel like if I eat that, I'll be immediately dehydrated. Oh, this it's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Go and get fruit. Go and get fruit. I feel very, very full now. Feels very much 
just feels like it's, it's still in the same there. form. <laughs> it's a nice pub for drinks, but maybe not for food. Well, the nibbles, Actually, the starters, yeah. yeah. Get the garlic them. bread was good. And I think the roasts are good. Just if you're vegan, just stick with the chips or get seven of the cauliflower wings. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go back, get our dramas on. Wes has made a cake and we're going to watch more Queen Charlotte. You're supposed to know about the cake. What cake? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh. Mm. has got this bag of like mixed treats. One of our lovely patrons gave it to him at Crick. But we, because it's a variety pack, we like trying to give him the choice. So we set out a few in front of him and then he picks one. He's still a bit confused by the concept of a decision, but we like doing it. Which one are we going for tonight? Oh, oh straight away that, that one. one. <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. Oh. Go on then, get it. Rufus is very strange with food. He does this thing where if it's too good, he won't eat it because he's savouring it and he'll just randomly bury it under pillows and stuff. So we have to find the balance of an exciting treat. Uh, it's going to be a savoury do one, is it? Sometimes as well he'll take it and then put it down and look back at you and just say that is that the best that's available? And then when he realises it is he'll go back and eat it. You spoiled little boy. Sticky toffee pudding because we thought we had a cake mix, but we didn't. <laughs> you want some with a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. <laughs> so you've only got about half an hour left of your birthday. <laughs> Are you going to stop being nice to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go back to being a horrible person. <laughs> We've only got a smidgen of the sticky toffee pudding each because I can still feel that boulder of granite <laughs> that was that burger that was lodged in my stomach. Stacey then. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Thank you for a lovely birthday. You're welcome. Happy birthday. And thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday on our Instagram and Facebook. It's been really lovely reading all your messages throughout the day. Thank you so much for watching Amy's birthday adventures. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did on my birthday. <laughs> Check us out on our socials. Big shout out to the Chip Pals on Patreon as always. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!